This is the book of Second Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world enemy calls God. Yahweh, meaning he exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world enemy calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. Meaning he is the deliverer. He saves. Bahashem in the name. Spirit holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathim listen and listen and learn in sincerity and the truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. Right, we'll get right into it, you know. And uh, two thirds of our people out here, right, they're in gross darkness, right? They're indoctrinated, they're asleep. And they believe in the image of the beast, the system, right? The beast being the Roman Empire, the second installment of the Roman Empire, which is America the Great, Babylon the Great, NATO and the EU. They believe in the system, right? And we have to remember Right, scriptures say, let not the inc incredulity, right? Let not the incredulity, let's get that. Incredulity meaning uh, unbelief. Second Ezra chapter 15, the points in three. I'll read from one. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse one. Behold, behold means look. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, right? Speak thou the ears, speak thou in the ears of my people. Whose people? Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And who are his people? The Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. Right? Right? As men of the Lord, the, the elect men are going to be speaking this word. Scriptures say, He that is occupied in pro he that is occupied in prophecy. He that giveth his mind to, to the law. Of the Mosai, let me let, let me get it before I butcher it. Sirach thirty nine, also known as Ecclesiasticus, verse one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, right? And who's doing that? The elect men of the Lord, Lord willing, of that number, the prophets. Right, their mind is given to the law. The law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High Yahweh Shimei Shai. They've been renewed in the mind. They're new creatures. They're not that old person. Things we used to think about in the world, it doesn't even. We don't. Things that used to, the things that we used to pursue, pursue when we were in the world, those things mean nothing now, man. Nothing. Right? And I know brothers, bro brothers can attest to this, man. Those things mean jack shit. And is occupied in the meditation thereof. Occupied. Occupied means to work. Right? To be busy. And is occupied in the meditation thereof. Right? Occupied in the, in the meditation of these scriptures. Occupied in prophecies. Occupied in the dark sayings. Will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient. Right? And how do you do that? By searching these scriptures. One, the Holy Spirit's got to be dealing with you. 
But once you, once you renew, renew it in the mind, you search out these scriptures, which contains the wisdoms of all the ancients, our forefathers, and be occupied in prophecy, and be occupied in prophecies, occupied, busy in 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 the prophecies, man. Right. So the elect men are going to be speaking. The elect men are going to be denouncing America the Great, Babylon the Great. Speaking the prophecies. Warning Jacob, two-thirds of our people, whether they hear or forbear. But the incredulity of our people, the unbelief, right? This image that's on the screen. The, the, these are the looks you get from our people. Right? When you tell them this gospel, gospel being good news, which is only for the Israelites. Second Ezra 15, verse 1, once again, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, these scriptures. For they are faithful and true. The, 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 these scriptures are faithful and true. There's no other book on the face of this earth that can tell you what was before, what was before, what is, and what will. What was before, what is happening, what happened before, and what is going to happen. There's no, there's no book on this planet that can do that, man. Just the Bible, the scriptures. Verse 3, 2nd Ezra 15, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Right, our people, they're going to give you these kind of looks that's on the screen. They're going to scoff. They're going to tell you you're crazy. They're going to give you your, their vain opinion. Well, I don't believe, I don't think, you know, their vain opinion. The God of the Bible wouldn't do that. You tell Jake that the Most High is a man of war, they can't believe it. You tell you tell Jake that the Most High hates, they can't believe it. Second Ezra 15 verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity, the incred incredulity, the unbelief, right? Let's get that word. Incredulity. Incredulity. This believing frame of mind. Early, early 15th century French word. Disbelieving frame of mind. That's two thirds of our people. Right? Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That speak against thee. Right? And two thirds of our people, they're going to scoff. They're going to speak against you. Tell you it's not like that. That's, what my, that's not what my pastor taught me. Right? God loves everybody. That's not love. The Lord wouldn't do that. Why? Why would the Lord starve people? Pray for peace. Right? Scriptures tell you, the scriptures tell you the Lord hates the sinner. Let's get that. Real quick. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High hateth sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. The Lord will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. And the Lord hates sinners, man. 
These are these these are just some of the things that Jay can't wrap their head around. Right? You show them that the Lord's gonna repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Right? And keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Right? The Lord will, will, will preserve you for your judgment, for your punishment. Right? Right? But us in this truth, you know, we just we, we keep prophesying, we keep speaking these scriptures, whether, whether they're here or for a beer. 2 Peter 3, verse 2, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Right? What does it mean to scoff? To, to, to speak against. Right? To, 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 to speak against what it is someone is saying. Scoff. Scoff. Jest. Make light of something. Mid 14th century. Ridicule. Mock. Right? What's that scripture in uh, Second Chronicles? 36. Right? And that's two thirds of our people, man. You know? Second Chronicles 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Mosai. Right? And that's the spirit on two thirds of our people. Right? Those same spirits that mocked the messengers. Who were the messengers? The prophets. Right? Those same spirits are back in Jake today. Two thirds of, of, of the house of Israel. And despise his words, despise his words. They don't want to hear it. They want to continue on in their wickedness. They want to continue on continue on worshiping their, their, their Babylonian deities. Eating pork, lobster, scrimp, shaving their heads clean, not keeping a beard, being adulterous, running after Buddha and moon gods and do as thou wilt. And misuse his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. Right, and that time is coming. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. Right? Heavy judgment is about to go out on this place. Right? Jake that looks like some of these images. Right? Out here in the world. Guess what? Second Peter 3, verse 3, once again. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, right? Doing, doing their own, do as thou wilt, do the, their, their vain opinion. I believe God is in a box. God knows my heart. God will accept me. Verse 4, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Right, scoffing. Keep talking about, you, 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 you out here talking about some sky daddy who's coming back. Where is he? For since the fathers fell asleep, right, since, things, since the days of old, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation, right? We, we, we hear, where, where's your God? We hear. Things are still the same, right? But what you see happening now is going to progressively get worse. The state of the world, the state of things, right? Food's going to get more scarce. More upwards of people is going to continue to increase. More so called natural disasters, earthquakes, tornadoes, dust storms, forest fires. These things are going to continue. Right? The sword, the love of many waxing cold. These things are going to continue. Leading up into what? The time of Jacob's trouble. Leading up into what? The M to the O to the T to the B. The Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. The C hip. 
Romans 3 verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Right. Two thirds of the people, they don't believe. Right. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right. So because you, you because you don't believe, you think uh, 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 the faith the the the, the 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 works of the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai are not going to go forth. The Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right. So the Lord, the Lord's still going to do, if you, whether you believe or not, it's it's everything's going to come to pass. You tell you tell Jake out here <laughs> that. Uh, someone he knows will starve to death or, or he will starve to death they don't believe it right you tell them FEMA camps are coming they don't believe it right so they, they, because they because because they don't believe you think it's not going to happen what does the scripture say ah uh, Isaiah 55 Isaiah 55, verse 11, and it reads, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of thy mouth, Salakia. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, right? The words of Yahweh Shemoshai containing these scriptures. It shall not return unto me void, it shall not come back empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where two I sent it, right? So everything that's written in these scriptures, the mass deaths that are coming, women, women boiling their 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 children, their offspring, right? Which happened before. These things are going to come again. These things are going to happen. Right? Amos nine. <clears throat> Amos nine. Amos 9, verse 10, and it reads, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Right? All the sinners of my people. Whose people? Yahweh Bashim al Shai. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. What does transgress mean? To break. The law was given to the Israelites. So all the sinners of my people, those that break the law, shall die by the sword. What's the sword? <clears throat> the sword is a killing instrument. Right, <clears throat> Salakia, right? And well, and what's and what's today's sword? The gun. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, right? Though you, you two thirds out there that say, nah, that, that that's not going to happen. The Lord wouldn't do that. The Lord knows my heart. Right, but the Lord going to show him. The Lord going to show himself. Right, because the time is going to come where everybody, everybody is going to have. To, Everybody's going to say, you know what? That the, the 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 Lord did that. Let's close. Wisdom of Solomon <clears throat> Chapter twelve. Right, and we believe we can see it. Wisdom of Solomon chapter twelve, verse seventeen. For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, right? You non-believers out here, man. Right? You don't believe that there's a most high or the, the Lord's not going to show his hand or his strength or his might. Or there's a higher, there's a higher creation, higher being manifested that floats through the, the universe that, that look is looking at me as a special person and, He's looking out from all that garbage and jargon, right? There's one power. Yahweh Let's get that. Psalm 96. Psalm 96. Right, and Jake out here, you know, they're, they're, in a, they're in a strong delusion, man. 
<clears throat> Psalms 96. As a matter of fact, let's get that strong delusion. Second Thessalonians. And we'll close out with the wisdom of Solomon. <clears throat> Salakia. Second Thessalonians. Alright, two thirds of our people are in a pitiful case, man. Second Thessalonians two. Verse ten. And it reads, points in eleven. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Right? Two thirds of the people ain't gonna receive this. They're gonna eat a missile. They're gonna die, they're gonna die horrific, grievous deaths. They're gonna they're gonna succumb and take the the, the, the the Revelation thirteen verse sixteen on down the grain of rice. Verse eleven. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion. That they should believe a lie, right? Strong delusion. Scripture say the deceive and deceiver are his, right? So you can't receive it. That's the Lord. Listen. Let's look at this word delusion. That just means you're rejected, right? You go. You want to believe that there's a. You want to believe in a moon god. That's that's just you being. That's just you trapped in delusion. You want to believe that there's a. a a deity that, that, that has manifested and you can't fathom it and he's dealing with you and and and, and cares about your listen. Scriptures say the, the, the uh, all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Delusion, the the etymology, act of misleading someone, deception, deceit, a deceiving as a form of mental derangement false impression or belief of a fixed nature right a strong delusion so jake out here is is is, is gripped in the grips of 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 strong delusion the lord has it that way man you can see when you look at jake out here they all look like this these images and they're all doing this eating gmos and and, and polluting their temples Right? Psalm 96, verse uh, 5. For all the gods, lowercase g, of the nations are idols. Right? Moon gods, Serapis, Caesar Borgir, do as thou wilt. Kundalini yoga, Wiccans, witchcraft, all that shit. The gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord, Yahweh, made the heavens, right? The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Back in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 17. For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength. And the Lord's about to listen. The whole world going to know the Lord did it. And among them that know it, right? Among them that know it. And who, and who, and who are them? Who are the them? Who are the them that know it? The elect. Thou makest their boldness manifest, right? Faith boosters for us in this truth. When the Lord shows his strength. So with that, I pray you're edified. I don't want to write this out. Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.